You know, every once in a while, a perfect learning opportunity just sort of presents itself. Yo, Jay, the Define R6 in white. What do you think? Define R6 in white. Okay, okay, it's an R6, but it's not new. In fact, it's not even all white. I mean, what's with the black front? Really? Coming from the guy with the black and white car, black hood, black spoiler. Okay, that's different. It's the same. That's not the same. The exact same thing. Not the same. Fine, change it then. How? With the custom wrapper and slick wraps, front panel, whole case, whatever you want, even custom designs. That's, that's right, we did do that video about the custom wrapped R6. Choose any of their existing designs or customize your own, upload it, and they'll make it for you. See? Wow, you really can make things custom with wraps. Okay, so what you see right here are the pumps out of Skunk Works. These are over, well, about four years old-ish. They're laying D5 pumps, even though they say uh, Alpha Cool on there, they are, all D5s are made by the same manufacturer, by Lang. So you have a PWM version and a standard. This is the one that does not, oh, I should probably put that little knob back in. I digress. These are all made by the same company, so it doesn't matter what brand they are, but what you're about to see me do will apply to any D5, PWM or standard, you know, dial, Vario, they're called Vario, V-A-R-I-O, Vario, whatever, not besides the point. So we just did a update to Skunk Works, you guys. I don't know when this video is going live, but you may have seen it or you're gonna see it soon. I did my, my system flush, used the proper cleaner in there, got all the green out, it was running perfectly clear, did my video, filled the loops, and uh, yeah, went on about my business. Came back about, I don't know, three days later, turned on my system and was in the BIOS actually gonna set up fans and stuff on Skunk Works because I hadn't done fan profiles yet and noticed that my temperatures were rising at about one degree every two to three seconds, which is usually indicative of the really poor flow rate or no flow at all. And then my system, my 7960X, at stock speed, stock voltage, 0.8 volts, was actually resting at about 65 degrees Celsius on water. I'm like, nope, something's not right here. Then I noticed if I touched the bottom of the pump, like right here, with it in the system, I didn't feel any vibration, which told me the pump wasn't running. Then it dawned on me, neither of them was running. And I thought, did I mess up the polarity on the wires or something? And I went, no, I didn't touch the wires. The same uh, Molex pinout they've always been. Then it dawned on me, I was hearing the click, 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 click inside of the pump, which I've heard before, which meant dead pump. So I decided this opportunity to take it apart because I actually fixed one. And I'm gonna show you how I did it today, what the problems were, and the kind of things you need to think about with long-term use of vanity fluids. I'm calling them vanity fluids, like Mayhem's Pastel, Primo Chill View, especially the View. Uh, this is actually the True Fluid, which is another pastel fluid. Because although I was pretty sure I prepped the system, uh, there's some nooks and crannies that you just can't get to with a cleaner that requires disassembly. Yes, I know this is probably why you don't water cool, but it's okay. It's a learning opportunity so I can help you guys. Now I don't recommend this, but I'm gonna show you guys right now that this pump is working and then I'll show you a non-working one right here. The reason why I don't recommend this is this is the D5. This is just a magnet. This just, just rests on a magnet. It's got a little bearing right there, which is still kind of dirty as you can see. That's one thing we'll be showing right here. That little like nylon bearing, it's a little ball bearing that rests on this and it spins on a magnetic field. As this spins, fluid is drawn into the center of this core and then it, it gets pushed out the sides as you can see those veins in there and that is actually how a pump works. So as you can see, I can spin this. It moves around freely, it's not stuck and when I turn it on, you can see it starts up and it spins. So when I turn it off, if we take a look at that bearing hook, it turned black. It turned black. That's because we have buildup and gunk inside of this floating, I don't know what they call it. Impeller? It is an impeller, yes, but it's the whole piece because it's floating on a magnet. I don't know what it's called, but that's besides the point. So obviously we need to clean that out. So let me show you what's happening over here on this pump that's not working. Hopefully the mic will pick it up. Right there. So that's the pump basically starting and stopping and starting and stopping. Now my initial thoughts when I heard that, because I felt, I, I've dealt with this before on a, on a D5 pump a long time ago. In fact, when I was doing the Red Mist build, it was a bad out of the box pump. Thought maybe there was a short or something in there. And that's what I was kind of expecting with this one, but that ended up not being the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart now and show you exactly what we found inside. 
Now I ran this system for three days with a prep, a system prep and a cleaner. Mayhem's uh, blitz cleaning kit has been through here before, but if you recall, this particular system has gone through quite a few versioning, uh, uh, versions, versioning, whatever you wanna call it. It's had yellow, it's had the yellow turn brown, it's had the yellow reinstalled and turned brown again. It has had orange that turned brown. There was a theme there. We have had the original green fluid and it was more of an emerald green. And then I changed the color now to more of a regular pastel -y green. And then this is the most latest green that we're putting in there. So over the last four years, this has had quite the uh, various changes of fluid. And every single time I always made sure I cleaned out the system with distilled water and solutions until it ran perfectly clear. No matter what product is on the market, no matter what any manuf and manufacturer will tell you, you're gonna leak it all over your table. That's, there we go, there's that. No matter what any manufacturer tells you, there is no perfect product out there. I'm sorry, and they're, and they're probably not gonna like that I'm saying this, you know. Manufacturers everywhere hate Jay for exposing this trade secret. There is absolutely no fluid cleaner out there that is going to do the job of a disassembly. You have to disassemble it sometimes. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the pump right there. You can see how sediment has sort of kind of rested in between the O-ring and the housing. And you can get an idea of how old this, this pump and system is too. This, this EK you know, X-Res CSQ isn't even available anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and take this pump apart, but that's the O-ring from the other pump. Do you see how gunked up that is? You can see the outside of the O-ring is clean because that's where it was actually pushing up against the outside of the housing. But look at the inside where all the fluid touches. Look at all that buildup on there. There's even still orange on there. And I haven't had this system orange in a long time. And I ran a couple different types of fluids when it was orange and not all of them were pastel. So you can see it sort of builds up. Let's take this one off and see what we got. This one's actually not as bad. That's not as bad as all. I'm gonna assume this is the GPU. No, that's the CPU one. So hey, well, there you go. But this one right here, this is the one I've already cleaned mostly. You can see I can sort of spin that and it's got a little bit of rotation. Now watch this. When I go to start it under power, obviously it's not moving and you can hear it making that click sound again. Oh, it's trying, look at that. Do you see it try? But I'm not even gonna touch this one yet. I already had, and it's gonna be hard for Phil because he's working the camera. He got to spin this one by hand and I told him I wanted him to feel how stuck this one is. Dude. That friction, right? It feels like the motor's on and resisting my turning. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Now watch what happens when I take it off, you ready? It gets built up in there and that is what's keeping it from being able to spin. Now, if we just sort of dry this out a little bit more, get that bearing nice and clean, it should start right up now. So what would have otherwise been just thrown away is now ready for service, well, almost ready. I gotta, I gotta do some, take some distilled water, take a bottle brush, clean it out. However, whatever method you wanna use to clean it, just clean out the inside there where all the gunk get built up and rides on this little white uh, it's a bearing, but the bearing doesn't move because this piece is moving. So it's like a reverse bearing, if you will. But that is, uh, I, I just, we decided to make this impromptu video because I wanted to show you guys, especially if you have a D5, what uh, could have looked like bad pumps that ends up in the trash, and these are like 80 bucks a piece, that's not cheap, is now gonna be living on inside of Skunk Works. So, thanks for watching today's video. Share this video with someone that you may have, if you've, if you've seen someone on forums or whatever complain of a D5 that stopped working, have them check this. It's very rare that these pumps die. The electronics in these, these, these are industrial pumps. These pumps were designed for purposes other than computers. It's just Lang realized that, hey, people are using our pumps and retrofitting them for computers. Why don't we make a housing which uh, can, and that was that ugly plastic housing, so that they can just plug it into their computers and the 12 volt wires are already there. So these are industrial grade. They are meant to last. And four years is usually not enough to kill them unless you really don't take you know, good care of it, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Go fix your pumps, share it with people who you think it would help, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.